Good afternoon to everybody. Welcome to our live webinar demo. How to boost your plan design with Solid Plan 3D, a database driven system on top of SolidWorks. Today we are going to see how to integrate the PNAD list from an Excel file into a Solid Plan 3D project. Build up a pipeline specification and assign it to a project. Create a structure and equipment 3D models with our libraries. Easily route parametric 3D pipelines driven by the specifications and finally generate piping isometric drawings with the standard de facto isogen. After the demo, feel free to participate in our QA session and do any questions you would like us to answer. As you can see from our workflow, SolidPlan does have two solutions, SolidPlan PNID and SolidPlan 3D. Today we are going to be focused only in 3D. Solid Plan PNID gives us the possibility to synchronize the data contained into the PNID project to the Solid Plan 3D project. In this demo, we will import the tag list from an Excel file. One of the most important components of plan design systems is how the graphics align and integrate with the database. Spec Creator, embedded in Solid Plan, is intended to easily assist in the generation of piping specifications and comes with more than 200 catalogs preloaded for free. SolidPlan is fully integrated in SolidWorks Standard Edition and combines in just one interface the main five disciplines for a complete plan design. Isogen is embedded for the total automation of piping isometric drawings having in few seconds the needed drawings for the fabrication shop and on-site construction. In this section, we will build the core of the project database importing from an Excel file the PNID list and later on using Spec Creator to create a piping specification. Let's go to Solid Plan 3D. We start using Tag Manager in order to import and edit the information contained into an Excel file. Let's have a look how the data is organized into the PNID list. So as you are able to see, the file is divided in different worksheets depending on the type of the components. For example, the line list displays all the properties of the process line such as tags or specifications in use. We can see the different worksheets like valve list, equipment list and many others. We close and click on Open to start mapping the Excel worksheets to the table of the project database. Like pipe routing to the line list sheet of the Excel file. We see now a preview on how the information is going to be loaded into the database. We click on OK to confirm. Next table to be map equipment with equipment list. Next one nozzle to the nozzle list. Once the table is open, we realize that the tag column has duplicated tags. It is mandatory in Solid Plan that the tags are unique for each component. Using rename tag future, we are able to combine information contained in the worksheet and reassign the new tags into the tag column. We combine the equipment and the tag column to get a unique tag for each nozzle. Next, valve to the valve list. And now we are ready to save and close. On the right side, we have the document list displaying all the tags just imported. Components like valves are also displayed in its corresponding process line where it belongs. There are three colors for the tags, which displays the status of the component within the project. Red, which means that the tag is in the database of the project. Blue, a model of the component is created. And black, when the model is in the project. 
Now we are going to start with Spec Creator in order to build up the piping specification. From the three different units, we select metric, which is the same as the project. We give a name. We select the catalogs from where the specification is collecting the components. We can assign as many as we want. We click on OK to confirm. Next step is to select the table of the type of component. In this case, pipe and the new spec table is added in the table area. The item row is the main entrance to filter the components that are going to be added into the piping specification for a specific table. Each column parameter is a drop-down menu into the item row, listing all the available values from the catalogs assigned. When the preview checkbox is marked, the list of available components from a selected item row is displayed at the bottom of a spec editor interface. If we scroll to the right, we can see the different parameters and properties of the components, like for example, the dimensions. Now we start with fitting table. We set the conditions to filter the components. So for example, from 10 to 200 millimeters, we select the class name elbow long radius 90 degrees we can now preview the result and we add another row in order to add a new component and a straight T The last table to add, valve, we keep doing the same routine setting the conditions. Now we are going to use Column Editor, a tool to add or remove column parameters in the item row. We use Catalog File and just select Ansi As Me. And we see the results on the bottom. Just the components that are contained into the Ansi As Me catalog. Last but not least, in the project properties, we are going to assign all the piping specifications needed for our project. We click on OK to confirm the selected specs. We can reopen again the properties to check all the specs are assigned. 